I mean, it's such an honor. Um, Janet Pearson has impeccable taste, and this festival has always stood for freedom of expression. And I mean, I actually started coming to South by in 19, I'd say 97, eight, filming my movie Dig with the Brian Jones Time Massacre, and then filming Bands with Capital, and then seeing the film festival begin to become something, and then the pedigree that it has now, it's, a, it's an honor. I mean, and the history of this theater, I mean, for me personally, 11 years ago, after Dig One Sundance, it actually opened at the Paramount here. Um, and it's just such a great theater and a great festival. Um, so I'm really honored. And I think we're one of the, I think we're like first documentary in a decade or something as well, which is just incredible for documentary because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really a, a member of a community and I believe in documentary. I have a talk show about documentaries called BYOD. Um, so it's, I think it's great for docs that we're opening. I know Russell really well, obviously, and I think that one of the best things about, one of the, like, the most intriguing and beautiful things about Russell is that he embodies so much contradiction, you know? So on the one hand, he's the most courageous, bravest man I know. On the other hand, he's still that boy from Essex who's insecure and, you know, probably feels like when people see his flaws and his vulnerabilities, they're not going to love him as much. I don't know. But it's made him very uncomfortable watching this film. I mean, it's really been difficult for him, and I'm sorry about that. And I did, even though I had creative control, I did work with him to put in things and, and try to make it, uh, you know, things that mattered to him. I worked with him on the cut. Um, but it could never, I didn't want to take out the parts where he's really human and vulnerable, and I think it was difficult for him to reconcile that. And hopefully, as he sees people reacting to the film, uh, positively, which I think they will. I know they will. I've seen preview test screenings and stuff, and people that weren't even interested in him or dismissed him take him seriously after this film. And I think that hopefully his feelings will change. And then maybe it'll be a cathartic experience for him. I hope so. You know, I love Russell. I made the film because, you know, what Russell's been through in his life from, you know, the taking everything that we're taught is going to be, is going to make us happy and satisfied. You know, like drugs sex, fame, power, money, he takes them all to the hilt and comes up empty. And then he has the guts to really say, you know what, this isn't working. This consumerist sort of messaging that I've gotten my whole life, he, he turns on that and looks within and he, and then it's not, it's not a, it's not just that he sits in his house in the Hollywood Hills and meditates, he leaves Hollywood. He doesn't want to be part of that machine anymore. You know, he wants to start speaking truth to power and he starts the truths and then this entire journey that he's on right now, it takes guts, you know? I love impossible visionaries. I love people that step out of line and I always portray them, you know? And I think that's why he came to me and asked me to make the film because, and I wanted to make the film because he didn't want a biography though, but he didn't want it to be about him, but I said, it has to be about you, you know? Um, and I, because the story of transformation is so powerful and I, and I hope that it will activate audiences and it will inspire inspire audiences you know I really hope so I think it will and I think he speaks to youth the youth you know and I think that I think and I hope that the youth will will also maybe maybe avoid some of the rabbit holes he fell down in his own on his own way towards the enlightenment that he's he's now he's on a path to enlightenment he really is and he's serious about that and I think that's part of of this it's hard for him to look backwards because he's so dedicated to where he is right now and looking forwards you know and here is a film that pieces together all these uncomfortable moments of his life and also some great victories but you know it's definitely warts and all it's not it's not just a puff piece so and I don't think he would have wanted that I think in the end he'll be happy I hope so I'm happy and I think everyone else will be I hope so thank you very much <laughs>